So, hey guys, welcome to another video where I bitch about anything. So for today, I wanted to release something out of my chest. And this is all about Bethesda. So, as you guys all know, they released a new game this year, which was full of controversies and a lot of fans complaining about the quality of the game and how it took so long for them to release another AAA open world and just for it to be just another Bethesda game and I'm talking about Starfield of course I know my gameplay right now is not Starfield well I, I don't want to waste my time playing that game again after spending hundreds of hours playing that game it's not worth it anymore uh, I mean I, I tried looking for something entertaining within the game or I tried looking for something to praise but the more you play that game the more you'll see the cracks yes it looks good but if you see the outer shell of that game, it's just a mess. For starters, let's talk about the story or lack thereof. The main context of the story is that uh, you are the, the dragonborn, but in space, you are a starborn. And you have to collect these artifacts and figure out where is the origin of your powers and, and what is the mystery behind it. And there's a certain faction that will help you which is the constellation this guild is supposedly uh, an explorers group the ones who travel the cosmos and figure out what happened in the universe doing research uh, on planets or, or on unknown lands but that's supposed what bethesda is trying to tell you but it's just actually bullshit if you explore the thousands of planets in the game you'll actually uh, figure out that they haven't explored any single galaxy or any system in the open world. Even in the main city, if you go outside that area and explore the planet, the fauna and the plants inside that planet, it hasn't been fully explored yet, which is so odd for an exploration game and uh, the guild that is supposed to help you to find the artifacts. And you do all the hard work which doesn't make a lot of sense and this is only one of the problems in the game uh, the story itself is non-existent the writing is terrible the characters and uh, they are so boring the faction quests are so bad so there are several factions that you can join or faction quests some of them intertwine and that quest in itself is just like the civil war in skyrim so at the end you pick what side you are on and both factions are unlikable in my opinion and the writing is just so off from a rpg standpoint and an open world you don't get to have that much of freedom you don't get that many choices most of the dialogue or mo most of the dialogue options uh it will just change on the first sentence then on the next line it will be the same the other three factions is just as boring as the main quest in my opinion and there are, there are a lot of people who likes the ryujin industries quest line but but the grind in the start uh the amount of quests you'll get and the amount of loading screens you will have to experience just to finish that quest is so painful and you'll probably see that from other videos where uh, you just enter an elevator and you get get the fucking loading screen. So it's terrible and it's just uh, it ruins the immersion experience. The next thing I want to talk about is the characters. It feels like all of them has the same personality. Uh, I, I'm mostly talking about the the companions you'll get from the constellation. And you don't get the freedom of doing bad things because all of them, I mean like all of them will criticize you which is bothersome because all of them are like lawful good maybe aside from andreja which is like neutral good or something this is bethesda's worst npc or worst companions i have experienced so far it's worse than fallout 4 fallout 3 even skyrim new vegas i can't understand how they had the capacity to do these characters so bad in order to get this character so bad I don't want to believe that they didn't do this in purpose, but it feels like it. One thing I liked at the beginning is the gameplay. The gunplay is very satisfying, the sounds. The gun models are actually pretty good. However, 
once you play like for 30 hours 40 hours of the game or or less you'll realize that the gun options are very limited and the perk trees are very simple like uh it's a lazy rpg uh, level system where there are branching skill lines yes there are branching skill trees yes but all of them or most of them just increases the stats of the guns and it's just sad that even if i can praise the gameplay itself at the end of the day if you take your time playing the game it becomes bad because the gameplay gameplay loop seems outdated they haven't learned anything from their previous predecessors and just copy paste the gameplay and even make it worse which is like how how do you even do that and i guess the worst sin they made is this was supposed to be released before 2023 uh for context some info like two months ago was leaked about microsoft where starfield was supposed to release before 2023 i guess when microsoft bought bethesda uh they they realized that the game wasn't ready and it, it was not fully cooked so it got delayed if they release this earlier than what the people expected i can't imagine the game that will see and how worse it is than currently anyways truth be told it is the midest game i played for a long time and it lacks soul i guess that's it see you when bethesda makes another shitty game